Hello everyone, this is Ryan from Civil Center. Welcome to our channel. As we know, Civil Center is continuously working with the vision to guide civil engineering student and professional. And for that, we keep making videos on different topics and on different software related to civil engineering field. So recently, we have started a series on technical structures and we have covered so many things over here. So let's understand what are the different topics that we have covered so far. So first of all, we have learned how you can modify the grid lines. Then we have learned about how to do the modeling of column, beam, slab, footing and panels. And now we are learning about the different commands like we have covered the edit command and the view command. So in that we have learned the different tools that are present over there and today we will learn about the clip planes. So let's see how we can use the clip planes in technical structures. So guys, you can see this is the model that we have created so far in technical structures. Now let's have the rotation over here and let's create a few slabs over here. So for that, we will go to concrete and there we will create the slab. So we are not defining the like uh, each and everything of the slab. I'm just modeling it so that while we use the clip pen, then you can have a better understanding of what is happening over here. Okay, so I'm just going to copy it now. So to copy, I'm just going to edit. Then we can click on copy. We can grab an endpoint and paste it to the next one. Then over here, and now we will similarly copy it to each and every point. So I'm again going to copy it, grab the point, and paste it on the endpoints. Now, if you want to create the next copy to all the floors over here, then you can also do that using the same option like this. So this is the benefit of making a symmetrical structure. And now what we are going to do, we are going to learn about the clip planes. So first of all, let's see where it is found. So you can find this option in the view command. So all over here is, are the different commands. And in this one, we have this clip plane. So you can just use this clip plane. And now you can just like mark it at any particular place. Like suppose I am marking it over here. Okay. Now let's see what it does. So it will create a plane over here and you can just drag this plane at any particular distance and you will see that this is hiding the rest of the portion and wherever this plane is present, you can see only that portion. Okay. So like this, you can just visualize your model in a better way. So even if you have some kind of reinforcement over here, then you can also see the arrangement of the reinforcement in the particular portion of the building and if you want then you can also like draw it on different areas like i'm just going to add one more over here so you will have to just select a plane like this time i'm going to do it over here now if i want to move it then i can simply move it in this direction Okay, so like this, you can see the different planes that have been created over here. Okay, so this is the use of clip plane in the structure. And now we are going to also discuss about the work area because we do have time over here. So first of all, what we are going to do over here, we will simply click over here and go to fit work area to entire model. And this entire work area will be fitted to the model. Or you can also change it from the last option that we have used where we can just navigate the points. Okay. That means in view properties, you can just go ahead and set the view depth up and down. And it will just 
fit itself according to that okay so these are the two options that you can use for just adjusting the model in the work area now there is another option of work area over here so we are going to learn about these options one by one so for that first of all we will have to create some new views and to create some views what you can do you can just click on the grid lines and go to create view and from here you can create a view along grid lines okay so like this you can do or if you have already created it then you will find that in the view list over here okay so right now you can see this is the view list and this is empty for now so i will have to create the views first so how to do that first of all i will just right click on the grid line and then create the views along the grid lines okay then we can click on create and the views will be created from here we can select what are the views that we want in our model okay so we have this grid line one then we have this grid line c over here and three over here so on these two we have our model so let's click on grid line three move to the right then grid line c and move to the right so you will see we have these views created over here okay and i want to tile it vertically so for that we have the windows option where we can just use it in the cascade format like this one by one or you can just tile them horizontally and you will find it like this or you can also tile it vertically and you will find the images like this now the use of the work area will come into reflection so just go to the work area here you have to just uh, bring all the things to the view so we can just click on two entire model in one all views so you will see the complete model in all views are visible now now suppose you have zoomed in all of it okay and uh, the aspect ratio of zooming is different and now you want to zoom any particular view then you have to select this view first okay then go to the work area and click on to entire model in selected view so i have selected the view 2 and when i am just going for this option then only this whole model in this view will be visible the rest other views are not visual proper okay now if you want to like highlight something in all the views like suppose i want to highlight this portion okay so i am just clicking on this foundation over here and i'm selecting it now i want to zoom it or you can say make it visual in all the views then you can use the third option that is two selected parts in all views so click on over here so over here this is not visible in view 3 so it is not a visual over here otherwise it is visual in the 3d model and this view so we have got it zoomed over here and now we can do the changes in any of the view and it will automatically reflect in the other views okay now suppose i'm zooming it out again and you want to just make it visible in any particular area like uh, i have selected it okay and i want to just highlight it in this particular view so i will to go to the view area and click over here that means using the option of two selected parts and selected views you are going to just zoom it in any particular view so we are using the view 2 over here along the grid line 3 okay now if you want to just close these views then you can close it like this you can expand your model like this and if you want to get rid of the click planes that means you want to see your entire model then you can simply select them and delete them and it will be deleted automatically and then click on over here and redraw the view and click on fit to work entire model okay and like this you can bring back your model over here okay guys so that was all about how you can use the clip planes and the work area in class structures 
and if you want to learn more and more tricks about the tickler structures then you can just stay tuned with this series so this videos are is going to release on every alternate day at 9 pm on the youtube channel of civil center so you can stay tuned to that and if you want to be a building consultant then you will also find a free webinar in the description and you can just go ahead and join that webinar so there we are going to provide you all the insights of how you can become a building consultant in india okay guys so go ahead and watch that free webinar thank you